hello everyone welcome to my channel now in this video we are going to observe the time period of a spring mass system now suppose a normal spring mass system this is a rigid support this is a spring ideal spring which is a massless spring and this is connected to a block of mass m suppose k is the spring constant of the spring now for a, such a system we know that t is equal to twice pi square root of m by k now suppose if you have a system like this this is the rigid support this is the spring and this is the mass m the spring constant k now for this again the time period this mass will oscillate like this the time period will be same t equal to twice pi square root of m by k similarly if you have a spring oscillating horizontally so this is a horizontal smooth surface this is a rigid support this is a spring this is a block of mass m so this mass is oscillating like this in this direction k is the spring constant again t equal to twice pi square root of m by k okay so for all such systems this is the expression for time period this we i am assuming that this, you know this okay now we are going to see a few more a bit complicated so called complicated system so now suppose we have a system wherein we have a rigid support this is a ideal spring okay and it is connected to a pulley this is a string again fixed to a rigid support the string is passing over the pulley and this is the other free end it is attached to a block of mass m okay now for this system for this pulley the upward direction if x x dash is the elongation in the spring when the block moves through a distance x okay then uh, the relation between x dash and x will be x dash is equal to x by 2 okay now you can evaluate this by using two concepts or two ways actually suppose for this system at this point see this is the same string so this is tension t this is tension t that means at this point the tension will be twice t okay now for a system the product of force or tension in this case and the change in position or the displacement or extension or elongation it is always the summation of this product is always zero for a system okay so for this the product is t into x okay that means this t into x should be equal to twice t into x dash see this sum is equal to zero that means work done by this is equal to work done by this and they will be in opposite uh, they will have opposite sign so that the total work done is zero so t into x is equal to t into x dash so that gives x dash is equal to x by 2 so this is one way of finding this relation between x dash and x okay the other uh, trick is i will call it as trick see uh, for a suppose this is a pulley you find the displacement at these two positions and this is a string or spring connected connected to the center so the displacement for this or extension this will be equal to the average of these two suppose this is x1 this is x2 and this is x so x will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 average okay now x1 in this side this part is fixed so that means this is 0 so that means x will be equal to x2 by 2 now in our case this x is equal to x dash and x2 is equal to x 
So that means x x dash is equal to x by two. Okay. So these are the two ways in which you can find the relationship between this x dash and x. So finally, we have x dash is equal to x by two. Okay. So now, since we have the relation between x dash and x, now for this part, if k is the spring constant, then twice t is equal to minus k x dash. So that gives t is equal to minus k x dash by two. So t is equal to minus k x dash by two. Now the force acting on this blo block is t. Okay. So that is minus k x by two. So the restoring force, restoring force on the block, it is F is equal to uh, minus t is equal to minus k x dash by two. But what is x dash? X dash is equal to x by two. So that gives F is equal to minus k x by four. Okay. But F is also equal to minus omega square x into m f is equal to minus omega square x into a. this is a forces mass into acceleration this is a so this x and x cancels out so we have omega square is equal to k by 4m or i can write omega is equal to square root of k by 4m or that gives t is equal to twice pi square root of 4m by k. Why? Because omega is twice pi by t. So this is the expression for time period for this system. Okay. Now let us see one more example. So this is a fixed rigid support. This is a spring. This end is passing over the pulley. This part is fixed. This is idle pulley. So again, it is massless. This, this is a string connected to a block of mass M. Okay. So now for this pulley, suppose X dash is the extension at the side. So this side, the force is K X dash. This is the same system. So this side also it will be K X dash. This side tension is T. This is the force acting on the pulley. The force acting on the block is T is the tension acting in the upward direction and the block moves through a distance X. Okay. So now in this case, see for this system, this is total force of the upward direction is 2kx dash and that is equal to t okay now that t is acting on this mass so the restoring force on the block in this case will be f is equal to minus 2kx dash minus 2kx dash isn't it okay now what about this how is this x related to x dash x dash in this case it is equal to twice x how because as i told you displacement of this side is equal to average value of these two so x dash you have it is equal to twice x so that gives f is equal to minus x dash is twice x so this is minus 4k x 4k f is equal to minus 4k x Okay, so that is equal to minus m omega square x. So this minus minus cancels out, xs cancel out. So we get omega is equal to square root of 4k by m. So that gives t is equal to twice pi square root of m by 4k. So this is the expression for time period. Okay, so basically what is the idea is you have to find the force acting on the spring then from that you have to find the force acting on the block and then you calculate the restoring, evaluate the restoring force on 
on the block and from that you get the expression for omega and finally you get the expression for t. So this, this is the procedure to calculate the time period. Okay.